right? <laughs> Luckily, we were tipped off, but we still ran out of candy. Okay, so that's that's right. Now let me get cut the player window. I had it all set up, and then Discord won't work. I'm like, come on. That. Yeah, I'm sorry. What? Back in here. Cheat notes. Yeah. <laughs> you run a concert or what, a show or what the other day? What'd you run? It was uh, the community concert band and oh, yeah. community community wind symphony. Well, it's that time of year, actually. Yeah. Well, there's that stuff going on around here, too. McGee yeah. Had, he had a recording. I don't know. It was some big some orchestra big and vocal group he had a recording. Mm hmm. You know, they will pay, too. So, you, get like, oh. you don't want to say no. Yeah. But I saw him doing setup. It was a big setup in the garage somewhere, and they had. It was a huge, like, you know, huge setup. And, uh, yeah. So he had it on Facebook, I guess. Pretty, pretty cool. Wow. I pulled it off. We have a, a guy that he's a he's a trombone player in the Community Wind Symphony. Oh, yeah. And he, he, he has been playing trombone, and he has his own little recording gig. He re, yeah. You know, rig, I mean. And he, rec, he records all the concerts, and this is his 50th year of doing it. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. There he is. There's that smiling monkey face. Monkey boy. Who's here? <laughs> Yo. Hey, Tui. How's it going, Tui? Pretty good. Did some grocery shopping. Gas is expensive, too. Oh, it's going to get worse. <laughs> then we're going to have like three wars going on at the same time. Gas is going to go through the roof. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Great job, everybody. Let's see. Not epic, not epic. It's the Obalaka. Where were we? The Shrine of Obalaka, the bottom right corner. Ah, there we go. I'm sorry. There's a lot of us on the screen. I don't know which one is us. <laughs> oh, no, that's right. There's a there's a, a clone at every shrine of the party, and we keep adding things. People. Sounds like a Peter, Paul, and Mary song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A clone a at every clone, shrine. Clone at every yeah. shrine. I remember that from the 60s. Yeah, oh, is right? this like Star Trek logic where like where the previous us was supposed to be disintegrated but never did? The previous us. Ah, uh, that's that sounds like what I've been watching. They ran in. Picard ran into himself. They ran into themselves in another timeline. I'm like, what the? What is happening? <laughs> well, you get away with anything on Star Trek. So last time, oh yeah, that was the key one where we had to get the keys, and then we realized that all the keys put together looked like another key. <laughs> right. And you set off the, um, you set off the whatever the radiant frog or whatever that was. What the hell was the it? Flail the flail snail. Flail snail. The flail flail snail, and everybody took bunches of damage except for um, Zanmil. Yeah, Zanmil. <laughs> so that was fun. <laughs> Yeah. But that was really fun for Samuel since he didn't get hit. <laughs> and so you got the cube, so there you go. And then we uh, realized there was another shrine fairly close by. Does that sound about right? And yep. Yes, and sir. Ta-da, ta here we are. Ta -da. What is with this whale snail shrine? All of the other shrines were like, oh, if you mess up, we spawn like Three hit points worth of enemies. Ooh. <laughs> this one just hits you for 30 damage. Boom. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah, but that was fun. Yeah. And this one, yeah, this one, you. Yeah. Yeah. Be <laughs> <laughs> so, the, here we go. Are we ready? Are we good? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yep. Everybody all right? Are we still seventh level? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. All right, all right. 
So the, oh, a pair of needle-like columns. There they are. Needle-like columns. Mark the entrance to a walled ruin. Um, Ganyan roots envelop a squat building. And the stone doors that seal the entrance right here are carved with images of snarling bears with long, sharp claws. What's your and, uh, well, what's his name? Orvex says, oh, he says, uh, above the, above the doors, it says, Obolaka, because he can read it, of course, Obolaka teaches us to tread warily and stay in the light. So there you go. Tread warily and stay in the light. <laughs> you have the, uh, you have the, uh, whole tale of the trickster gods if you want to check that out right i uh, do yeah and Obolaka. this is obolaka so talk amongst yourselves <laughs> uh obolaka was the zorbo and zorbos are like little What are these things? Yeah, they're little koala bears that'll eat you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna show you the Zorbo. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> a ferocious omnivore, similar in size and appearance to a koala. A long claws, a downward disposition, and a fondness for humanoid flesh. Sweet. Oh. <laughs> you want to see the second edition art for the Zorbo? Do you look a lot nastier? <laughs> <laughs> a lot more mundane. Wow. Got yeah. those teeth, though. <laughs> um. All right. Anyways, there you go. Well, you want to look around the outside if we can, or just go straight in. Let's go straight in. Yeah. I don't think I can fit through the outside. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right. too tight. <laughs> All right. Do uh, do the doors? Yeah. They're probably a zillion pounds again. So. Do the doors push try. push in, or are they OSHA standard and pull out? <laughs> I don't know yet. Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't know. There's, there's always something that sneaks up on you like this. You're like, oh, wait, that's good. That one. It's um, usually OSHA. <laughs> So, uh, I don't think that's OSHA. I think that's fire code. Well, it kind of falls uh, under uh, OSHA. Yeah, I'm on oh, I'm on dance uh, dance side with that. <laughs> I think your fire marshal enforces that, not the uh, OSHA inspector. <laughs> uh, enforcement, yeah. The um, there's yeah, they look like that last set of doors that you encountered. Very similar. Well, Raymond, shall you and I push on them? Yes. All right. We're going to to, to, to push on it. All right. What's your, <laughs> what's your combined strength? Um, I've got an eight. So <laughs> that's and probably I've, enough right there. I've got... Oh, what, what the heck just came up? What the heck? Wait a minute, how do I get out of this? 
do. Oh, here we go. No, no, never mind, never mind. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I have an 18, so that's 26. Okay. You can take these stone doors, you two brutes, and uh, shove them open. When you shove them open, they make this awfully loud squealing sound. And they have, uh, they're, they're, they were slightly ajar, but they really squeal uh, when you open them to get in. They make a lot, a lot of a uh, squealing crap. racket. Oil! Oil! So let me, let me get that door situation open. Because you opened them, no problem there. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, man, that was noisy. Squeak! Oh, great. It opens into a hallway, huh? Hallway around to the right. All right. Where's my Vegematic? There he is. Uh, so, but there are six six doors in this hallway. There's uh, no those are, wait, I'll tell you what they are. Don't, like... don't move yet. Don't go running down the hall yet because you don't yeah, want to die immediately. I'm not. Uh, uh, You're right. right. I don't. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> so give me a minute because I know you guys are. You're on the on the on the path. Uh, let's see. There's. It looks like Zanmill is still outside. Yeah, Zanmill. Where you at, Dewey? Monkey boy. Sorry, I was dealing with my cat's shit. He just laid a stinky duke. Very nice. <laughs> when, um, who, who was the last one in? Here comes old uh, guys. Dragon Bait. Dragon Bait. Yeah, Dragon Bait. <laughs> Dragon Bait comes in and says, he goes, hey. He goes, I noticed these little bear guys outside. Oh. The one, the... With, did they look like the ones on the doors? Sure did. Huh. They, they, they weren't doing anything. They were just hanging around out there. Well, we better be ready the, for a fight. There's one out in, on, by the bushes out there. He says. Brandon, oh, who's been? Holy Avenger plus whatever that is. <laughs> who's, who's been talking to, to critters all this time? Do you, do you want to talk to those critters or no? What critters? The, there's Sorbos outside. Oh, there is. Yeah. Uh, sure. Uh, Dragon Bait I'll... says he saw one. Okay. I'll uh, activate speak with animals and uh, approach it cautiously. It immediately attacks you. Oh, okay. oh cool. shit. Roll initiative. Got a 24. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying to find my guys clicking oh, here myself. Zorbo, let me get the dice. Let me get the turn. Yeah, that's why I haven't clicked it yet. Oh, I did. Yeah. Okay, good. Bam. And there's Zorbo. Shit. Um, let me see. Oh, wow. Are, we're all getting in on this? If I you're think so. not outside, you're not in it. If you're inside, you're not in the battle. Yeah. So if you're okay. going to all oh, move outside, then you're all going to roll initiative. If you're not, then you're just the two people, players, characters that are outside. Um, I'll shout um, for help on my turn if anyone wants to join. Okay. Uh, Dragon yeah. Bait is still inside. But he rolled initiative. Is he coming out? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, He's okay. coming out. Because this guy... There was one one little Zorbo they saw that Dragon Bait reported. 
Okay, and that's the guy right there. So, uh, let's see what we got here for initiative. It looks like, so far, Krathris got a 24, Dragon Bay got a 14, so, um, so go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'll put a Hunter's Market. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to swing at it with my scimitars. I mean, you could still try to speak with critters. Uh, uh, but he's, he's, he has these nasty claws. Um, yeah, well, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so, I, uh, AC-10. He has I don't think I'm going to bother trying to talk. Uh, uh, 12 damage. Okay. Second attack. Whiz. 17 damage. Gee whiz again. Oh. Uh, you got yourselves a dead sword, bro. Alright. And I, I, I'm since I'm so far ahead, I'm looking back and thinking, "Hey, is there a roast beef sale at Arby's? Uh, or where is it? Where is everybody?" You, these things on the wall that you're standing there looking at, these things, you could tell this one. Can you see my blinky there? Yeah. You could see yeah. this is this is like a thing to hold a torch. Okay. okay and so is this, but there ain't no torch. Right. And also this thing back here, another torch holding device. Oh, okay. With no torch. Oh. Now, um, I refer you to the plaque that you remember from the shrine's entrance that said, okay. Obolaka teaches us to tread warily and stay in the light. Stay in the light. Right. Uh, so, uh, Krathris dispatches the Zorbo. Right. And with his screaming death rattle, a bunch more Zorbo appear. Uh oh, come running out! Here they come. That sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, there's just two. Uh, For now. Yeah. Exactly. And let's see. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, there's a couple of more Zorbos. Uh, Dragonbait's turn. Alright, Dragonbait will come around to the Zorbo in front and give him a good old two-handed Holy Avenger. Yeah. AC-10. Smash Nine. with a 19. <laughs> uh, six for the first hit. That's like, okay, the rate, oh, it's like gotta be a fiend, that's right. Okay, so six on the Zorbo. Ready for the next? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I take no crap from Zorbo, says the dragon bait. There's a 21. That's a big old hit. And with a 10 for that one. Oh, we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, so much for that one. Uh, and it looks like Raymond's turn. All right, oh, Raymond wait, is going to... Do you have another SWAT there, Dragon Bait, or no? Uh, yeah, oh. this is two. Just two. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast Magic Missile on this guy. So there's, what, six damage on him? Okay, yes. I got the low roll. Okay, six more. Zorbo is definitely hurting. All right, that's the end of my turn. And, uh, let's see. Oh, Zorbo's turn. So this other Zorbo over here attacks Krathrisk from, from the bushes. And this one, uh, well, let's see. Dragon Bait just hacked him for a bunch. He got magic missiles from Raymond. He'll, he'll try to attack Dragon Bait. Now, Zorbo's... Um, have these destructive claws 
It says if the target is a creature wearing armor, carrying a shield, or in possession of a magic item that improves its AC, it must make a DC 11 dex throw. Uh, on a failed save, one such item worn or carried by the creature, target's choice, magically deteriorates. Taking a permanent cumulative minus one to the AC it offers and the Zorbo gains one. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Till the end of start of its next turn. Uh, armor that drops to an AC of 10 or, uh, or a shield or magic item that drops to zero is destroyed. So. Wow. Pretty nasty little critters for cute little koala bears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So that's uh, Zorbo's turn, right? Yep. So uh, uh, Zorbo so number one over here to the west is going to uh, attack Dragon Bait. All right. And here comes, let's see. Zorbo. And, um. Let's see. Oh, here's the other thing. It says natural armor. The Zorbo magically absorbs the natural strength of its surroundings, adjusting its armor class based on the material it is standing or climbing on. AC 15 for wood or bone. AC 17 for earth or stone. Jesus. 19 for metal. What a bunch of, <laughs> what a bunch of bookkeeping. So he's just standing on the ground. I should have upped that other guy's armor class, but I, I didn't see it. So, okay. So they're just hanging around out in nature uh, by the bushes. So I'm saying uh, standing on earth. So that's AC-17. Shit. See, you're lucky I missed it on the first one. <laughs> so here comes his destructive claws, and this is on Dragon Bait. I think, I think the first one would still have been dead. Yeah, probably. Because he, because his rolls were like twenty-one and twenty-four and whatever the hell. It yeah. Was. Yeah. So destructive claws on dragon bait. The little Zorbo swings at you with his claws, and he gets a ten. So that's nothing. Yep. Yeah. The seventeen armor class. There you go. And Zorbo number two over here. Tries to grab uh, good old Krathrisk. Hey, where's your dragon, buddy? Oh, he's inside. Uh, or your drake. So, okay, he tries to do that same thing to you. And here it comes. Nasty claws. And got a 12. They're not they are really that dangerous, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And let's see, so we killed one, we got these two, and uh, yeah, there's, oh wait, there's rustling in the bushes back here. And I Jeez. think it's, I think it's Sandmill's turn. Oh boy. Uh, Sandmill is just gonna give this guy the what for, and uh, two punches to his uh, koala looking face. <laughs> I've always wanted to punch a koala. <laughs> They're so cute, you just wanna <laughs> punch him. Uh, the first hit is 15, hit the 15, uh, 10 thunder damage. So, and, uh, he's got a 17 armor class. So, it misses. So, he's just standing around on the ground, but he get, that gives him a 17 armor class. And so, that means I get one more hit. Uh, nope, nothing. Swinging thunder at the, at, at the uh, cute koala bear. He's laughing at you. <laughs> Oh crap! Anything else, Zanmil? Nope. That that's Zanmil can't do anything else. Flips him off. I believe it's your turn. Huh? See? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, move it on to the next one and slash away. AC 17 now. Oop! That one. First one's a miss. Big miss. <laughs> Second one. There you go. Or 19 damage. Holy hell. What the fuck? You rolled a 1? You still got 10? Yeah, I got plus 9. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. 
Very nice. Uh, That's the way we play. There's right. <laughs> it's the Twinga Scimitar. 12 damage. Wow. Zorbos don't last that long when you guys are around, apparently. No. <laughs> what, what is this? Oh, it's... Where's it's, your dog? It's Raymond. What is it? Where's your dog? He's coming. Okay. Uh, he is gonna bite that guy. Who's this? Oh, Lil' K? Yeah. Lil' K crunches down with the, uh... 10 damage. There you go. My dog don't bite. And one more dead Zorbo. Dang. Okie doke. That is... Prathrisk. Uh... Yeah, you're, uh, uh, um, Winnock, you're, you're like wondering where all the damn torches are. Right. There are all these, you see them down the hall, along the sides. There's little thingies for torches, but there are no torches. Uh, huh. you scratch your head. Okay, uh, I guess mm -hmm. dragon bait's up. Well, yeah, right. uh, yeah. And uh let's see, give me your give me uh not insight. Perception? Yeah, give me that because this guy is coming around the corner here in the bushes. Uh what is perception? Is that wisdom? No. Yeah. It is wisdom. Um, okay, because he doesn't ha he has an active perception of passive of thirteen. Uh so whatever. You have plus three. I, I I don't really, I don't see how 14. you can miss this guy. You know he's coming. You can hear him coming. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you do dragon bait. You spy a you spy another one of these little cute little bear things over here. <laughs> okay. Uh, dragon bait has a thirty. But yeah. Okay. He can definitely. Yeah. He yep. can get to him. Comes up, double handing. Says, oh no, Double fist. Holding. Seventeen. I see. Yep. Holy Avenger. 21 to hit. Smash. Or 25, <laughs> I mean. Seven. Like, uh, just seven, though. <laughs> yeah, well, see the other... Nope, the other one misses. Oh, dang. <laughs> seven. Cute little bears. <laughs> okay, Dragon Bait, that's it. Yep. I believe Raymond. Yep, Raymond's up. Raymond is going to cast Mind Sliver. The Zorvo must make a DC-16 intelligence saving throw. Ew, okay. 16. And it's an 11. He takes 4 damage. Oh, his poor little bear mind. And next time he makes a saving throw, nice. he makes it at minus 1d4. Very nice. Alright. Teach him a thing or two. Yeah. Okay, Zorbo's turn. Zorbo dives on Dragon Bait with his slashing claws. Keep saying Zorbo, and I think of that alien from Future uh, Futurama. <laughs> no, I think it's it is Zorbo too. <laughs> that just goes to show you. I think of Doctor Zorba from Doctor Kildare, which was a series about. Oh, was that the old guy? Yeah, Doctor Zorba. Wow. wow. Wow, man, yeah, that's old. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Dr. Kildare was everybody. Uh, now, Dr. Wow. Kildare, that's, uh, that guy also appeared in the most recent uh, version or part of Twin Peaks. Uh, he was he was actually in there. What was the other thing wow. he was in? He was in but there's uh, a recent part of Twin Peaks? Oh, yeah. That's still oh, going it's, on? It's six years old, though. Oh, okay. Six years, season, season, whatever. It was the return. It was called the return. Okay, gotcha. Uh, I just the watched uh, Doctor Kildare. Yeah. Wow. I just, I just watched David Lynch's uh, Dune for the first time the other day. Dune. That's like the movie he hated to make. <laughs> I hated watching it. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I remember we watched that, Dusty. Uh, I, it's such a great no story, but really hard to hard to 
I don't think there's been a good version of it yet. Hard to adapt, especially when you add in weird shit like the, uh, the milking the bald cat. <laughs> the, the fear had to. There was no bald cat for him to milk in the fucking book. <laughs> They've just they just put the poison in his food like normal people. <laughs> wow. Ridiculous. Hold on, my audio just got weird. Testing, hello? Yeah. yeah, hello. That was weird. For some reason, all my audio got quieter. Alright. Uh. Where's my. Uh, where what was the attack on Dragon Bait? You got a 14. What's your AC? 17. Yeah. yeah. I think it was a hit. Okay, Krathris. No, no, Zor. Uh, oh. Sandmill. Sorry. Oh. Sandmill. <laughs> Zan Mill will take a step out and give up that dragon base thing. I'm gonna give him the old Roman candle. Well, nice. Right, all right. Pew! 22 to hit with a 16 damage. Wolf. He had exactly 16 hit points. Sick. Ooh. Nice. Burnt to a grip. Cute little bears. And uh, for the moment, everything seems quiet outside now. Let's get the fuck inside. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh... Okay. So what's the news in here? Should we just head in? I guess. Uh, I don't know. Do we put oh. torches in the slots? Winnick, you've been studying these walls, what do you think? Dan. Okay, how do I... What you got? How do, how do I... I'm trying to cast light on, like, my holy symbol. Yeah. But I'm, how do I get it to follow me? the circle to follow me or do I have to do that manually? You kinda have to do that manually or you can just Okay. You can just um, I mean if you're if you're holding it. Wait, you're gonna put light on your I think I can do it on your token How how far does light go? Okay, so you you have um bright light in a twenty foot radius and dim light for an additional twenty feet. Right, which would be a, like you're right and and so I was gonna try I was trying to do two different tents oh I see I can do that on here on your what was it bright light 20 yeah and the other radius was what? uh a dim light a 40 foot radius then because in a, an additional 20 feet Something changed. <laughs> yeah. But I don't. I don't really see it. But I, uh, it I saw it through. Yeah. Oh, so that was me. I was messing with my character just to see. Um, do you want me to just put? Do you want me to just do what I did to my character to your character? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Do I? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> do you? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, that giant green thing has got to go. All right. How about if we make it very, is. very light it's yellow? Go. Hold on. No. Why did that? Okay. No, that doesn't look any better. I'll get rid of that. <laughs> like what? This is not helping. Well, you uh, you understand what I was trying to do, though. Yeah. Just not really. because you know I was trying to have. You know, if we have to stay in the light, I was trying to have light centered on me. Oh, yeah, I get it. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
so that we'd always, you know, be in the light, even if it's dim light. I think we have to light up these, um, the torches. Well, there are no torches, right? There are no torches. Yeah, I, su I suggest just... that we put oh. them in there. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, we we have torches. We can. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I have. I should have torches in my pouch. Oh. I have an explorer's pack, which contains. Hey, it's kind of moving with me. Yeah. I have ten torches. Okay, when I count my slots, did you count? There's eight. Correct. There are eight little thingies to put torches in. Yeah. Cool. Six I'm down this hallway. Putting torches in, lighting them on fire. Awesome. Does, does anything happen when you put a put a torch in? I don't know. I start with this one and that one. Okay, so you put a torch in each one. Yep. I ask my friend with fire powers to light them. Oh, who's that? That's uh, what's his name? Zanmil. Uh, Zan oh, yep. you mind lighting these it. torches? All right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Got them lit. And on to the next you one. You can see better. Okay. I put some torches in here and here as well. And Mill, my friend. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Well met. <laughs> work, work. More torches. Put torches in, firing them up. Yep. Okay. Going down the hallway with them. Okay. So I just dragon baits coming in from outside. Like, what the heck? He 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 links over to artists and says what he's doing. Approaching the temple. <laughs> Sorry, Brandon, no. There seems to be Something a door. else. It looks like there's a door at the end of this uh, situation here. Hmm. All right. Once we've got all the uh, torches, torches. As you as you. Uh, walk down this hallway and you're lighting up your torches, you see that the walls of this corridor are covered with painted reliefs showing Omuan people hunting, harvesting fruit, planting crops, crafting weapons, feasting, fighting, I was waiting for a third F, weaving and skinning animals. And the uh, empty torch bracket, now you have some light, you can see that this is like um, cultural art down this hallway. Cultural huh. art of the three Fs, feeding, fighting, and mating. Feeding, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> fighting, and courtship. Um, All right. I prepare to enter this door. Okay. You say it's a stone door, much like the ones outside. Not not as big, but because uh, it's just one door. But um, it looks very similar to the ones outside. Anyone care to be here with me? Ah, uh, of course. Excellent. But of course, I can That's get my. That's good, because you might be the only one here who can open this door. <laughs> okay. Is it a double door? No, sir. No. Okay. All right. Four Vex and the Gron. There's uh, Dragon Bait. Well, wash it. Where's my weed? Um, oh, I see him. I see him. Yeah, there he is, yep. Yeah. How's Kermit doing in the back? 
chapter fly. Keep going. The door is a stone door. Are we open? Are we trying to open it? Yeah, yeah I think so. What's your strength again there? Uh, uh, I got an 18. Guy? Yeah, okay. You have little trouble moving this door. It's, a, it's slow and old and made of stone and very heavy. However, you are able to open that door uh, with minimal difficulty. Now I got it. All right. Open the door. Oh, a hot tub. The glorious. Oh, well, I'll wait because you're still in the hall. As you All look right. up, somebody just went in. I'll go in. Uh, right on the okay. ceiling of this room, directly above this pool, the pool is still water. Uh, and above this pool on the ceiling is a glorious sun carving. Okay, shining directly, I mean, it's just a carving, but it, it, if it were glowing, it would be shining down on the pool. And the only thing is there, uh, Winnock, the pool, the reflection in the pool um, is a moon. Oh, wow. So it's a carving of a moon, not a sun. But it's a reflection for sure. And you look, you know, you do a double take and look at the ceiling. It's the sun. But the reflected in the pool is a moon. And it's a carving, just like the sun. Wow. I also noticed no other doors out of this room. I'm, yeah. yeah. Who, wants, who wants to take yeah. a dip? What's the little alcove in the south? Alcove? Yeah, uh -oh. there's like a thing here. No, that's a, just a stone thing. Okay. Okay. It's a. It's really a bare room. Um. It's a whole bare temple. <laughs> It's, yeah, um, there's nothing in here but the pool and the carving on the ceiling and the reflected moon in the, um, pool. Alright, who wants to take a dip? Um, I I'm gonna take one of my crossbow bolts and wave over the water. Has anything happened? Just wave it over the water. Yeah. Uh, like to, to try to see a reflection. You can see the reflection of your crossbow bolt okay. on the surface. As you look down into the pool, you see the moon. Wow. Hmm. Uh, All right. Is it, are, are there any uh, loose pebbles or stones around? Uh... I'm sure if you look hard enough, you can find something that you, right. that you can toss in the pool besides, yeah. besides weed. <laughs> I, I, it did cross my mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to toss, you know, uh, cause, because, you know, it just takes a pebble. Ah. Uh, oh. I'm going to... Toss, I'm gonna toss it in. I've been, I've been listening to that in the car. I know, man. I was, I had one the other day. Uh, yeah, no kidding. I, I like him more the more I listen to him, man. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Okay, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer for those, for yeah. those of you who are younger than the old man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you take a pebble and toss it in there. And, yeah? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, of course, you toss that pebble in and the ripples spread out across the little pool. Uh, right. And it, it's gone. Oh. 
the reflection is in the bottom, it's the moon in the pool, and uh, the sun up above. Oh wait, can I breathe underwater? <laughs> That's a really good question. No oh, way. Uh, <laughs> you hold can't, on. Can't you? I can't sound like being a wait. lizard, dude. Oh, I can hold my breath for 15 minutes. Awesome. Krathrix. Krathrix. Swimmer. Krathrix is many things, and one of them is being a swimmer. Uh, Krathrix is just gonna dive in head first because he uh, totally believes in himself. Uh, uh, awesome. Oh. Hmm. Krathrix dives into the pool. Well, Krathrix is gone. <laughs> May he rest in peace. Alright, let's go, guys. <laughs> is this a door here, or...? There is a door. I would like to open said door. So, okay, give me a minute. So, okay. the Krathrus dives in. The right. splashes into the pool. The, and you're looking in the pool, and there ain't no Krathrus. Uh, yeah, you can do that, Krathrus, you can do that, so... I will do that. Now, um, Zan Zanmil comes over and tentatively sticks his hand, his, like, gauntleted <laughs> hand in. Okay, just now hold it, everybody. Mm -hmm. Kra uh, uh, Zanmil sticks his hand in the water. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, Krathrus, you see a hand coming out. Oh, I'm gonna give it a high five. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, you just got a high, a lizardy high five. Freak out! I, I wasn't expecting anything. Um, I lean over at the thing and I hold my, and then I stick my head in. Okay. Daniel pops his head out for a second. Oh. You see Catherine uh, for a second. That, uh, I'm still holding with that. Mm. 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 <laughs> I, I come back around. All right. Uh, I, I think we're good. It, we're, it's a weird portal. And is that dick my head dip? You Not dick. Did you dick your head in there? <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, just kind of just you know slide over the edge and try to climb back out the other side. I guess. <laughs> There's Zenmil. All right. Krathrus uh, has busted open this door. What are we doing? Uh, Raymond is going to sit on the edge and fall backwards into the pool. <laughs> <laughs> and you know why he's going to do it that way, right? That's pretty good. Because if he fell forward, fall forward, he'd still be on this side of the pool. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, that's where you are. Anybody else? Well, I'm going to... I'm going to grab Kupalue, and not knowing, I'm going to dive in. Okay. With your weed? With my weed. Very nice. Your weed's going to get wet, though. Oh, well. And is little K coming through the portal? Yeah, he will. Uh, dragon bait also. Though, right? Dragon bait. Right. Yeah, the dragon bait takes a dip in. Okay. All right. All right. So, right now, we got... Artis, Wawasha, the Brung, and Orvex out in the Hall of Torches. Okay, just to, I just want to make sure we all know where everybody is. Yeah. Okay. They're out there. We want the, them in the Hall. Uh, they're kind of scratching their heads at this point. Uh, they, they're they're fine where they are. They don't they don't need to. I mean, they're you can leave them there or you can have them come in. It's up to you guys. Uh, but, uh, Grathrisk has opened yon door. Right. Um, I say we leave them out there. They can cover our escape route. Is, um, is Orvix out there? Yeah, Orvix is out there. Yeah. Uh, he, he's, he's pretty handy. Right, translating stuff. Yeah. You want to go get him? Yeah. <laughs> Should I back in the water? Okay, so, Dive in. Uh, you going back in? Yeah. That, when I get, get to that description yet. So, there you go. Alright. You're all soaking wet, popping out the other side. Right. 
Hey, guy, come on. Everybody, come on. The water's fine. Oh, boy. Everybody? <laughs> okay. Well, you can stay if you want, but we need Orvix. Okay. So Orvix dives in and dives through the suit. All right. Uh, in this room, uh, that the pool room, we're not, we're not going through the door yet there, Radford. A full moon is carved into the ceiling directly above the pool. The walls are decorated um, with reliefs of Omoan people carrying out daily chores. Uh, the ceiling reflected in the pool does not show a moon, it shows the sun. And what do you want to do now? Uh, I'm going to head through the door. Okay. Yeah. As you come through this door, and little Kay is right behind you, eight torches, and you can see the torches glowing along the walls in this room, uh, illuminate the room. The light washes over a floor mosaic. Uh, and from where you are, you're 10 feet away. You can see this mosaic, and it shows two creatures locked in combat. This mosaic. And there's a small bear with real sharp claws, and a rabbit with a horn on its forehead. In the middle of the room, a robed figure stands next to a waist-high pedestal, atop which rests a stone cube, you know what? Oh. The figure is bald. Red wizard. Ha ha. And oh, I has that one, was... he has one hand on the cube. And Krathris, it takes you a moment to realize that that creature, that figure of red wizard, is statue. Oh. Right. Oh. Oh. And it has his hand on your head. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> so wait, the red wizard, red wizard is a statue. Yep. Yeah. It looks like he fucked up and didn't do the right thing. Why would the old boy build a statue of a red wizard? Raven. <laughs> Orvex. Raymond's not that kind of spellcaster. <laughs> Very funny. Ray, Raymond, or, um, uh, Orvex comes in and says, he's like visibly disturbed. He says, and he yells out first, he yells out, Vodge! And then he realizes Vodge has turned to stone. Ah, you knew this guy. I thought he was just throwing out a slur or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> and he kind of, he's kind of like just like, ah, oh, I can't believe this. Anyone got uh, some sort of restoration or remove curse? Flash. There's stone to flash. Uh, flash yeah. Stone. I think that's beyond our ability. Yeah. It's yeah. Like a zillion level spell. Uh, I can deafen him. You <laughs> can That'll, that's a great idea. Why didn't we think of that sooner? You can deafen the statue. So, from all appearances, it looks like this wizard was ready to take the cube, and, uh, for some reason, he, he got, he got turned to stone. Uh, and, and, um, it's uh, 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 Orvex. Orvex says, uh, he goes, I can't, I'm surprised at this. He, he said he, he was one of um, Zagmira's uh, favorite favorites. Okay, there are eight torches in this room. Correct. Do you think he took them from outside and put them here? Oh, maybe. There are eight areas there. 
So, what do we do? Uh, all right, all right. He all tried right. to take by only taking. We gave the torches back. Yeah? No? I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. maybe. Uh, are there any other mosaics in the room? The uh, the one of Ovalak and Jin? No. Okay. It's it, there are inscriptions near the mosaic <clears throat> in old oh. old one. And and um, what's his name? Orvex says. Uh, he says that. It's Obolaka fighting Eugene. Right, Zorbo versus Al Miraj. And right. he says that the that the inscriptions explain how Ijin ruined Obolaka's attempt to placate Uptau. Then it says right. Sea Legend of nice. the Nine Gods. <laughs> wow. mm. It says all that? It says, see, Legend of the Nine Gods. <laughs> so Thanks, Orbeck. Um. Alright. Uh. <laughs> so. This guy obviously felt the torches were important to have while grabbing the thing. Right. I put that on the stone. Alright. Does anyone have like a long stick? Too long stick. <laughs> <laughs> really long stick. Yeah. Maybe with one of those like handles you can squeeze in it. Hey, you mean to grab whole... the cube? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, like you're wearing like an extra long pair of tongs or something. Yeah, yeah. Does anyone have that? Uh, actually, I might have some of my tinkering tools. Well, it, it, the problem is his hand is on top of the stone, and he is stone, oh. and it's stone, and there you go. It's on a stone pedestal. He's a statue made of stone, and so is the stone. Of the puzzle. Okay. <sighs> so, I mean, if you had one of those senior citizen grabby things, but he, he's, he's like a statue on it. I might actually be able to make one. Hold on. <laughs> I, I think I literally have. Hold on. Again, I refer you to the description you saw when you came in to this whole thing way back at the beginning, which was. Obolaka teaches us to tread warily and stay in the light. And barely stay in the light. I mean, he kind of did that. Oh, I know how to use smithing tools now. I should write that down. Um... Although the other, the other puzzles we quote unquote solved, <laughs> I, I don't really see how they had anything to do with the inscriptions on the wall, except maybe Ejin, because he just had to run down the left side. Why don't we have the our little buddy grab it? Who? He's the old moon, right? Maybe we need to have an old moon grab the thing because it was all depictions of old moons, right? Or Max, get in there! <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think that's it. Can we figure out what's going on with these torches? Okay, the torches. There's eight of them. They obviously yeah. came from outside. Oh, how'd they get them? How'd they get them in here? Oh, they must have relit them. Um, Do they represent the ones that we put in? I think they represent the ones that were outside before they were no longer outside when we got here. And this red wizard guy was like, ooh, I have to stay in the light. Or... Maybe he didn't even try to solve the puzzle. Maybe these have to be moved out to the daytime area. Oh yeah, maybe we have to grab the torch, or like turn out all the torches yeah. and grab the cube in darkness. 
feel like that's the opposite of what it said on the thing. But okay. Yeah, right. Stay in the light. Yeah. Know. But walk carefully and stay in the light. All we know for sure is the torches right. were on and in here when this guy touched the thing because so, he uh, didn't. This is, okay, Raymond, give me your perception, please. Okay. Now you're standing there looking at this torch. Perception. Oh my Three. god. You, you're absolutely certain that torch is lit. Cool. <laughs> oh, I knew it. <laughs> Are you reading some of my stuff and going, hmm, give me, man? Uh, give me Winnock. It's lit. Yeah, uh, okay. It's definitely hang on. lit. Give me perception, please. Yeah, hang on. Get back to my core. This is, this is, I don't know. Ray, Raymond turns around and says, Fam, it's lit. It's lit. <laughs> All right. Oh. 25. Crit. <laughs> Okay. All right, I get it. I see how it these torches are definitely lit. So, Winock, it strikes you as peculiar that even though this torch has been sitting here burning for who knows how long, um, the wood hasn't burned down. It's just like a fresh torch. Ooh. There, it's. You think that that's odd? I, I share that. Light, I, I do share that with everybody. Okay. I mean, continual flame is like a second level spell. Um, could it be that this is not a real torch? They're like illusory torches. Stick your hand in there and find out. <laughs> and what happens if you pick it up? Yeah. Um, Raymond's going to pick up a torch. Okay, you. you this one here? Yep. Okay. okay. You picked it up. I hold my hand close to the flame. Is it hot? It's fucking hot. Okay, thought so. Do it. You keeping the torch? Um, yeah, I'm actually going to bring the torch over to the water and see what happens if I submerge it below the surface. Well, it goes out. Interesting. And, and when I pull it back a, up... You have a wet piece of wood in your hand. Hmm. Interesting. Guys, I broke the magic torch. Wow. Yeah, now you have the torch, but you put it out in a silk wet. Is there... I'm going to cautiously examine the, like, dais or whatever this thing is. Okay. Anything interesting going on here? Other uh, than the guy stuck to it. Uh, it's the petrified wizard. Yeah, turn stone. Named Vaj. Uh, the um, the re the pedestal, the normal pedestal that you see in every shrine. The cube sitting on top of it. He's bald. He has his hand on the cube. Uh, there is nothing else uh, about it. You know, it may have like screwed up out of the floor, like they did, like the other one did, or it, it may have just been on a pedestal sitting there. It's hard to th hard to say. But remember, one of them came up out of the floor. So, but it looks similar in all respects to all the other places you've found these puzzle cubes, except that there's a a statue of a red wizard with his hand on top of the cube. <laughs> And I break his arm with me hammer. Yeah. If, 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 are you gonna do that? Well, I don't know. What does everybody think about that? <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> um, I don't think that would be. I don't think our friend would have liked that. <laughs> oh, Orvex. He, 
He's already yeah. having emotional problems. I'm gonna check out the um the torches outside. See if maybe altering the torches the putting out one of the torches inside has altered them somehow. So you c you come back out here and the, the, all the torches are still burning. However, they are burning down. Okay. These aren't magic. Hey, froggy. There's more to this temple. Raymond is now outside. Yeah, <laughs> Raymond has... You hear rustling in the bushes immediately right. upon stepping outside. All right, I'm rushing back in. <laughs> but... That's nope, like nope, a nope. lot of area to cover, by the way. Okay. So. You're like all the way outside around yeah. the building and back. <laughs> so, okay. That's not that far. It's well, still done. It's far enough. It was like 90 feet, so... <laughs> Yeah. Now somebody else okay, has to yeah. do something. Oop. I'm still looking for any of my tools, see if I have any, like... Where are you at? You're going through your stuff? Looking for your, yeah. handy, your handy senior helper there? Or whatever yeah. The fuck it is. Oh, God, I love this. It's <laughs> <laughs> great. You're, I don't know, you're going through your toolkit. Yeah, I don't know if I have actually anything. Let me see here. Tinkerer's tools, no. These tools, no. Raymond, what are you doing right there? Um, just headed back inside. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Grung is flopping around in the hallway here. Artist is like, what, is, what are we doing? What's taking so long? Uh, there's a Grab the cube, puzzle. Let's get out of here. Uh, you can try that if you like. Artist but goes and dives in the pool, dives that comes out the other side. Oh. There's... There's another fellow who tried. <laughs> and... We're not too excited about doing that. So what are all these things sticking out of the walls? <coughs> what things? The li they're like zigzagginess. They're just stone things that where the torch oh. little alcoves where the torches go. Okay, gotcha. There's no Everything that there is, is a, uh, here's the description again. The light, eight torches illuminate the room. The light washes over a floor mosaic. So when two creatures locked in combat, the bear with claws, the rabbit with the horn, the robed figure stands next to the waist-high pedestal. The figure is bald and has one hand on the cube. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And... And artist, the artist even says, "Man, he says, I wonder how long these have been been here. They're, they don't even look like they're burning down at all." And and um, it's real fire, though. They're not waterproof. <laughs> and you and you produce the the wet stick yeah. that you hold in your hand. Yep. Oh wait! Uh, when you when you come back into this room, yeah. Raymond, because you went out the thing, out the front door, outside, out the thing, back in through the water, through that water. water. When you walk yep. into the room, the torch relights. Oh, interesting. Sorry, I missed that. Yeah, That's you did okay. all your little excursion, came back through the the water portal came into this room and the torch started to fizzle and relit. <laughs> cool. My mistake. I didn't get that far. Hey guys, check out this magic torch. Uh, I guess I'll put it back on the wall where I found it. Alright. 
<laughs> Maybe we have to put the torches in the right order. <laughs> oh, jeez. Any ideas? <laughs> no idea. No, I don't even have any uh, tong tools. I got nothing. I can use smithing tools, which includes tongs, but I do not have a pair of smithing tools. Uh, does anyone have like magic hand and magic picking things up? What are the, uh, what are the cubes made of? The, the puzzle cubes are stone. What if we take another stone and just keep throwing it at the at the cube until it slips off the pedestal? <laughs> There's nothing to say you can't try that. <clears throat> there is, you know, I mean, you don't know unless you want to try it. Oh. Or, it may, or maybe it's not a good idea. <laughs> Oh wait, here it is. I could. I was. I was just reading over it. I just kept skipping over it. Old person grabby device. Yeah. <laughs> so I can make a pair of artisan tools. The smithing right, artisan. The right tool for the job. So yeah, a pair of uh, big pair of tongs. One hour of uninterrupted work. Oh wait. Do we want to wait an hour? That's up to you guys. If we want to try something else too, I can spend the hour just trying to make this pair of tongs. I, I think it's the best thing we've got going. I was yeah. considering giving Koopalue a crossbow bolt and having him try to slip, slip it underneath. He get, he got lonely. Oh, you just saw a pool of water and he dove in. Oh. <laughs> He's just flapping around. Alright, so... Make, so I'm making the pair of tongs then? Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you're going to spend an hour making them. Yeah. You guys can... Maybe you guys can think of, think of something as animals is tinkering away with the pieces of metal and the bits he has. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> At least make it collapsible. Okay. Um, you know, I would never have thought I would actually ever use this. There you go. What if, what if we put out all the torches? You, you know what? There are torches out there right now. In the hall. They're burning down, <laughs> yeah. by the way. Yep. What if we just try it? I don't want to. Never mind. Um. <laughs> Can someone hit me up with Death Ward? I don't think you'll die. It's going to turn to stone. Oh, sure. Can someone hit me up with Turn to Stone Ward? Uh, that's that's in 7E, I believe. 7E? No, oh. no. Please stop. <laughs> no more uh, E. I'm going to use my Helm of Telepathy to try to read the statue's thoughts. See if he's still in there. It's a freaking rock. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's no thoughts. Awesome. There's no thoughts. However, you do notice that this guy has a pouch. He has a book. He has a rod. All turned oh, to stone. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh, he definitely uh, has, He is definitely a red wizard guy. 
Are they stones that are like connected to it him? Is a or stone could I... statue. <laughs> as though it was okay. carved out of a solid piece of granite. Great. That's you what I was hoping. Pilot who, who ate magic mushrooms and was trying to crash his plane. Yes. Oh, oh my yes. Hell. Oh what my the fuck? Yeah. What the hell? Oh my god. I thought this was going to be a story like that that woman who backed up into the airplane propeller. Unbelievable. Disaster. Well, well, people are getting stupid. The propeller. Disaster. You would die. Very funny. <laughs> That's so old. That joke is older than <laughs> disaster. Um, so, what do you want to so, do? Just, yeah, he's one solid piece of stone. This guy. Yeah, I want to get this puzzle with you. <laughs> what do I want to do? I want to get this puzzle with you. Okay, there you go. Well, there's definitely a way to do it. You just have to figure it out. <laughs> Well, I'm going to cast Detect Magic and take a look around. Um, okay. As, as, well, I'm not on the yeah, right. Detect Magic. That's a good, that's a great idea. Um, especially the, the pedestal here and the the altar. And then at the... Um, torches. So, uh, okay. So, what are you? What are you? What are you detecting magic on? Well, I I was gonna look at the pedestal first. Okay. The pedestal is a stone pedestal with a stone cube on top, and on top of the cube is a stone wizard with his hand. Okay. Uh, you do not detect any magic. Huh. Okay. Um. For the duration, how long is this? Stuff, stuff, stuff. Ten minutes. Up to ten, Up to ten, ten minutes. minutes. Yep, yep, yep. Well, I'm going to look at the altar here and kind of walk mosaic? walk around. Yeah. This is yeah. the mosaic on the floor. Oh, that's the mosaic. I'm sorry. I Okay. It does not... There is no sign of magic on the mosaic. Okay. As I'm you gonna turn toward uh, the torches, though. You do, you do see a some kind of a magical aura on them. Yeah. And you, and you think to yourself, yeah, that makes sense because they keep burning, but they aren't burning down. All right. The torches is and plus when when uh, uh, Larry, what the hell's his name? Raymond. Raymond came. Larry. Larry. <laughs> when Raymond Larry. came back in, <laughs> when Raymond came back in, his torch sparked back up. Yes. Um. You know he I think it in the water, saturated. There was a, there was a secret room in the Papazotal shrine, and this shrine has space for a secret room. There's there. There's this whole left side here. the The building is definitely squareular or rectangular. Yep. And there's hallway here, but no hallway out here. So I think this is another hidden room puzzle, except with less clues. Um, I'm gonna start looking for doors along this wall and the bottom wall. Okay, in in this room. Yeah. Okay. You're looking. Well, I, I, in the, while he's doing that, I'm going to take one of my crossbow bolts and try to toss it onto the the pedestal on top of the pedestal onto the tablet. You mean the stone puzzle cube? Yeah. 
you know, and I'm sure it'll it'll touch it and it'll flatter and it'll you know have a one in a hundred chance of okay, so tell sta me, so staying. Tell me, what you're tell me exactly what you're doing again. I'm gonna take a crossbow bolt. Yeah. Stand next to it. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna try to toss it onto the top. Okay, so you toss your crossbow bolt, it lands on top of the wizard hand and clattered to the floor. Okay. So his hand is covering the whole thing then? It's on top of the cube. Okay. Like he was ready to grab it, like Indiana Jones. Ah, uh, okay. And he went gotcha. to grab it, and what happened? He's, he's now Rock Monster. Okay. Uh, Raymond, you're looking, you're searching, you're f trying to find some kind of entrance way. Artist says, you know, I think you're right, Raymond. There must be another piece to this puzzle. Hmm. Grung is flopping by the pool over here. All right. Oh. I check over here. Where the other door was. Raymond, give me a. Uh, <clears throat> what do I want? Give me something. <laughs> Perception. Six. Oh my god. <laughs> it's okay, guys. I I rolled under my wisdom. It's ten. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're still eleven. Mister Grung is like. <sighs> Did someone else give it a shot? I'm still I... making my tongs. Is it, how long has it been? Is it close to an hour now? No. Okay. Can I uh? <laughs> fucking room. Can I try a perception? Go ahead. Uh, uh... Eighteen. <clears throat> yeah, uh, sure enough, there seems to be a little secrety door right there. Right here. Well, how do you like that? Hold this symbol there, but no secret door. So, you, here, could be your guy. Wait a minute, I gotta get on the right way. Uh, yeah, right here. There's a door. Okay. In or uh, out? Oh. Uh, Alright. There's a door. Oh, you're going in? I'm going in. Yeah, I'm going in too. Okay. Uh, there might be some. Light. This. Uh, this dark passage is choked with dust and webs. It's clear that no one has been through here in years. That is a doorway now, whoever... Oh, can I just put my little door thing on there? I mean, I don't remember how to do it. Yeah, there's a door there. I don't how to do that. Keep changing things out there. Lighting. Blue A's coming with. Okay, the weed is coming along. Yeah. This whole passage is choked with dust and webs. Okay. Anyone? Um. Crassus, what are you doing? Um. Uh... Oh, I guess I'll go down the dark. Oh, you okay. Oh, there goes everyone's light down. You going in there too? Yeah, I'll go in here too. What the hell's Quawasha doing? Uh, giving light. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, providing vision. Okay, so then... There's something in this alcove. I think, I think I will <coughs> cast light on my holy symbol right. again. Okay. 
Let's see if I can you do that. You can see that this thing that goes down to the end of the the, the hall and and makes a right or a left. In, in your oh, sorry guys. Was it dark in here? It was. Well, we I we need a dark passage choked with dust and webs. Mr. Grung is just going back and forth between the two pools now. He's having a good time. Now we got this big yellow stain that just... <laughs> Yeah, I can't get it to move now. Yeah, that's all right. Raymond turns the corner and you see a dead end. It's not, uh, just know that. <laughs> oh no, you don't see that. The, the dead end uh, has three wooden bars just, like slung across this wall. So there must be something behind the three wooden bars. It's gotta be, yeah. Okay. All right. This is another door. And sure enough, Raymond, it, there is a door now. If I'm wrong, there is a door there. There is a door, and it leads back to the entrance, as you can see. All right. Okay. So we need. Grathris. Or, uh, yeah, that is Grathris all the way down. Yeah. So, yeah, that, there is a door there. Where's my little door tool? I had, there used to be a door maker. Yeah. I haven't used 5e tools in a long time, but I'm in, uh, in hey. Foundry, it's in the wall section. What's that? I, I haven't used, um, 5e tools for this, but in Foundry, it's like you build it like a wall. Uh, I don't know how that and, and, and don't care. So, okay. <laughs> so there's a door here, and there's a door here. There's a thing here where you can make add doors, but I just don't. I don't know it, where it is. I don't, I'm not really highly motivated to find it at this point. Okay, so we can run in a circle. Woohoo! <laughs> um, are my torches still here? Are they burnt out? You went back in? Yeah. Or oh, no, no, no. Oh, I mean, these yeah. are the ones that they're burning down. Okay. Uh, um, how, how long does the torch last? Like, I want to say two hours. Is that right? Dustin, Four answer? hours. I'm looking it up. How long do torches last? And it, one hour. Okay. They are burning down. Okay. Um, I'm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them out and take my torches because I, I feel like this, ma this is a magic puzzle. It can't be solved with mundane torches. I'm just gonna waste my shit. Which are, they're like pretty burnt anyway, but you can do that. Oh, yeah. <coughs> okay. Raymond is um, gathering up torches. Yep. Mr. Grung is trying to decide sun or moon. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's having gotta, a great time. I gotta install one of those at the um the other shrine that he lives at. Yeah, yeah. Not Moa, not Papa's at all. The other guy. Bang bang. Bang bang. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you see the, the frog slipping across between the? What a great idea. Okay, what are we doing? Raymond is collecting his torches. All right. Grathrisk is standing there going, what the fuck? <laughs> Thoughts? Well, I'm heading back into the... The ceremonial... Chamber, the whatever. ceremonial other room. What the hell is it called? Chamber of Sacraments is what it's called. Yeah. Oh. There's like, uh, there's nothing in this hallway, like no place for torches or anything. No, sir. Fuck. There's a place for torches out here, though. Can you go <laughs> through this wall if, if you keep moving? This wall? Right here. Yeah, I can go through. Okay. That. Okay. Yeah, I did. It's just the the lighting thing before you go in. Oh, oh, you can move yeah. around. Okay, all right. We can't better. see through them, but we can move through them. Yeah. 
Are, are the wow. torches... Are any of the torches out, or are they still going? They are all still lit, and they are all look like they were brand new, just lit. They do not burn down. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Did Eric take it to the... Or did, uh, no, they're all still uh, there. I didn't take any with. No, but did you bring one over to see what happened, like, to the other side? Uh, I brought one through the pool. Oh, wait, we don't have to go through the pool now. We can just run him through to the other side. Right. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start gathering torches. So, I... You can carry two. I'll carry two torches. Or you gotta put your weapons away. Okay. That's okay, I have a tail. So, okay, <laughs> you're, you're... Okay. You're bringing, I'm gonna walk you're bringing a couple walk of torches. all the way around. And put them in these spots. See if anything happens. Oh, wait, I gotta rotate my torch. I think. Oh, wait, that's this one. Oh my god. Challenge. Okay. Oh god. Anyway. There's one there and one there. They're, okay, two torches. They are in the slots. They are burning brightly. Alright, nothing else happens? No, sir. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with another two. Okay. Still making tools here. Which two are you grabbing? Uh, these bottom two. Okay. I'll to the left. Bottom yeah. two left. Alright, so you're gonna repeat the... repeat... Rinse, lather, repeat, lather, rinse, repeat. Yes. Okay, so you come all the way around and you put in two more torches installed. God damn it, this is trickier than it was. Okay, there's two there. Put deposit two more torches. Yeah. And and you they are just like when you they were in the other room. Uh but they're not burning down. No. Okay, cool. Uh, I gotta repeat the process again. Okay, so instead of all that, I'm just gonna... Yeah, until they're all filled. Craft Risk is running around, doing all the heavy lifting. Right. Okay, so here's two more. Oh, no, this one is not cooperating. Anyway, there it is. And then the last two? Yeah. Okay, so put the torches. torches. Does anything happen when they're like that? Uh, nothing happens. Okay. Can we take the thing now, though? Uh, I don't know if someone would try to touch it. I mean, he he probably didn't just insta free insta petrify. He probably failed failed the saving throw. Wait, what? We got what third level spells? No fourth. Right. What's that? We have oh. fourth level spells, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see what clerics get at fourth level. Let's see if we can get any of them. That one was yeah. killed right here. Uh, or pure, 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 pure. He's got death ward now. Yeah, but I'm not gonna. No one would die. They just get turned to stone. I think I'm gonna. Yeah, that's what I'm looking to. Come on, Crass, <laughs> just grab it. You're not gonna die. <laughs> oh, oh, what has it been the hour yet? But shoot, the problem shoot, is that the, the, the stone is on top of the pedestal, and the wizard's hand is stone, and it's on top of the puzzle stone. Oh. Uh, so so I've been could, wasting my time. You could touch the stone, you could grab the stone, you could poke the stone, but to get it out of the wizard's grasp, uh, so, I mean, that's a really good question. Sorry, Vaj. Can we just lift the wizard? <laughs> you might have to break. Um, 
That's a good question. How <laughs> much do stone statues of people weigh? We just get two of their strongest characters to lift it, like the doors. It, it, you know? Wait a minute, I, I had something on that. I think it weighs ten times whatever his weight was. Okay. I had something on that. So as much as a fridge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds right. Uh, it's small marble statue. Uh, is increases its weight by a factor of ten. Okay. So. So if he was uh, 150 pounds, he's 1,500 pounds. So that's heavy. Yeah. Uh, we could probably tip him over. Just try not to be under him. <laughs> tip the wizard. Tip him. Wizard tipping. It's 1,500 pounds of wizard. Wizard. So, I have, as a furbolg, I have what's called powerful build. <laughs> it's a, it, No, it's one of the attributes. It says you count as one size larger when determining, determining your carrying capacity and the weight you can push, drag, or lift. Right. So, I don't know. I guess I'm just considered humanoid. Oh, and um, I also have this. I'll help. Um... Flash of genius. Oh. I can tell you how to lift it properly. Oh. You, you, you use your legs, don't use your back. Yeah, yeah something <laughs> along those lines. Oh, I can give you, For um... each size category above medium doubles a creature's carrying capacity and the amount it can push, drag, or lift. So you okay. can push, drag, or lift the weight in pounds up to twice your carrying capacity, or 30 times your strength score. So, essentially 60 times your strength score. Well, let's, let's see. see. That's almost... Times. Strength 18? Yeah. 1080? And the eight. Oh, Jesus Christ! Well, Still on enough. Yeah, he's a little yeah. bit under. But there's more uh, than one. To yeah, I'm sure with him and everyone else, we could do it, no problem. Jeez. <laughs> I have, I have this. I don't. I have this. I don't know if it'll be helpful. Enhance ability. Full strength. Uh oh. The target has advantage on strength checks and his or her carrying capacity doubles. Wow. So. <laughs> okay. I don't, know, I don't know how that double's going to stack, but. <laughs> so then I wouldn't be just short. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I mean, even if it's uh, an extra 30 instead of being an extra 60, it, it still puts you over the 1500. Yeah. By a good ways. Yeah. So, uh, shall we do that? Yep. We're gonna try to Good. tip the wizard. Tip the wizard. Uh, we, could lift him this way. we we could pick him up and move him wherever we want. Is that what yeah. we're doing? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna move him. And by we, I. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well. In fact, by we, I I really just mean. Uh, when I... <laughs> by we, I just mean. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're just gonna supervise them. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go grab them and. In your supervisory capacity. Uh, you strong is like able well. to pick up the wizard statue and move his ass out of the way. Oh, right. Yeah. And the puzzle cube sits up hot on top of the pedestal. All right. All right. Shall we? I'm, I'm going to. Here comes Orvex. Orvex is coming over to talk to Vaj. Or at least, you know, look at him. <laughs> but. His respect. Yeah. Everyone is staying the fuck away from that cube. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Kong time? Yeah? It, yeah. Kong time. <laughs> it's. Kong time. <laughs> 
It's been such a tong time. You guys have been doing all this stuff, and I've just been here tinkering in front of this stone wizard. Nice. All right. Um. So Daniel gets over. Make oh. them jealous. Yeah, you guys how are doing how your hands <laughs> move. So you got this pair, fancy pair of tongs you made. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So you're gonna grab the cube with the tongs. Am I right on this? Do we? Yeah. Let's just take the tongs and be. Hello? Excuse me? Take the tongs and do what? <laughs> take the tongs around the stone? Yeah, yeah, pick it up with the tongs. Yeah. Okay. And you. get the puzzle cube. Oh, damn. Hooray! <laughs> I can't believe we spent so long fiddling with torches when we just needed tongs. <laughs> Hooray! My the ability I never thought I'd actually be using worked. So, Yay. okay. Wow. So, but. Nice. So, oh. the torches. Right? All the torches had to go out here. Uh. Because. If they weren't, anyone that touched the cube would be petrified. Cool. Uh, so I was right. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Okay. The spell, the spell nice that thought. Was, was triggered because all of the torches were in the room. Um, the torches would only, only. You know, if, if you put it out, it relights when it comes back in the room. Uh, the the wizard he 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 didn't know that the torches had to be out here. He didn't know. He did not know. So he went in there and tried to grab the cube, and oops, he got petrified. Um, he could have you could have cast greater restoration on him. Well, yeah, we don't have that. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I had lesser. In which case, yeah, <laughs> in which case he would have immediately attacked you with all of his shit. Oh. Oh, Bang. nice guy. <laughs> um. These red wizards. I'm beginning to think they're not good people. He has treasure, yeah. but it's all stone. Gotcha. Yeah. And I, I don't think you want to drag around a 1,500-pound wizard. No. But we could. <laughs> it's possibility, yeah. yeah. Stuff them in the big so, bag of holding. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, so anyway, you got you got another stone. That's Obolaka. Wow. All right, go there ahead. Are, add it to you. There are two shrines. There are two shrines remaining. Uh, there is the shrine of oh, Loa, wow. which is oh, let's go let's go to the map. Yep. Rung is having the best time just going between these two pools. He thinks that's the best thing ever. <laughs> uh, we ought to move here. You know, he dives, him. Yeah, he dives in one and then he comes out and dives back in. He's having a great time. Uh, so, we'll, we'll go back to the big map. Good job. It only took a while, but uh, that was an Jeez. interesting little puzzle. But, Eric, you spotted it that there's that big big area that's not accounted for. Mm -hmm. And uh, Thank you. so, yeah. That's, that's all. Thank you, team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, Good there's answer. a new, and, another new feature here that I don't know about. Let's see. They added folders for all this stuff now. So you can put everything in a folder on your map page if you want. So that's kind of interesting. But we're just going to go back to Omu and look around. All right. So you can see where you want to head next. I believe we should be on the Omu page now. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Omolaka's puzzle cube. And we are think. It keeps changing. Yeah, right here. That is Shrine of Omolaka. Let me put that on there. Oboe, 
man. I've got a I've got a Kilroy was here vantage point on my camera. Huh. Remember that? Absolutely. It's a World War Two cartoon. So there's Obalaka Shrine. How come you guys don't see the I put all these little tags on them, but that doesn't show up on your end. Anyway, there you are coming out of the Obalaka Shrine. Crazy, man. So you know, so, uh, you know that uh, for one thing, this is the shrine of Moa out on this on this uh, plinth out here in the middle of this hot lava lake, and then you know also that the um, shrine of Nang Nang uh, is where uh, your grung friend wants to go, and that's all the way up here. Yeah. So uh, that's that's kind of what you got to do now. Is figure out where you want to go. Um, what else do I want to tell you? Uh, that. Oh, um, what's his name? Uh, uh, Orvex mentioned someone when he was talking about uh, that Fodge. Right? He mentioned, right. just in case you missed it, he said that Vaj took orders from Zagmira. Zagmira. Uh -huh. Right. You want to ask him about Zagmira? Yeah. Who is Zagmira? Okay, good. Or <laughs> Okay. Uh... Ian. Here we go. Here we go. The Zagmira is the highest ranking of the Red Wizards here, he says. This is this is uh, Orvex. Right. She's um she appears to be eighteen, but her face is wizened and old. And it's it's a an effect from a terrible ritual she performed to inhabit her granddaughter's body. Oh, that's really messed up. Uh, he's he Orvex says that. You know, the red wizards came and, and separated into different, you know, went off in different little groups to find the cubes. And and we, we know for certain. Oh, I got a I gotta roll for that, by the way. Uh, yeah. uh, that, nice. that, that the red wizards found three of the cubes, and it looks like they were ready to take this one. Right. The Obolaka cube, but it didn't work out for him. Outsmarted by a lizard. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, what do we got now? They have, The red wizards have three cubes. You guys have four. No, wait. Five. No, they have one, two. I don't know. You got five now, right? You have Unk, Ijin, yep. Wongo, Papazotl, Obolaka. They were on. That's right. They were on the on the trail here of Obolaka, but blew it. Because uh, what's his name? Vodge turned to stone. And uh, so there you go. The the head wizard Zagmira. Um, he, Orvex said that she had this idea that the soul monger was being held in the tomb of the nine gods. That would make sense. So, and that's that's you know why you needed the why you need the cubes anyway, right? That's the whole point of getting the cubes is to be able to enter the tomb of the nine gods because you need the nine cubes. Get it? And right. um. Da, that's it. I think that's about all he can tell you about her. But she was like the leader of this group of wizards. She was the highest ranking wizard. 
and oldest, probably most powerful. And too bad about that wizard because he had one of their spell books. Oh. And it's it's still there, turned to stone. Uh, so that, but they all they all kind of have similar spell books. So there so. you have it. And all you got to do now is figure out where you want to <laughs> where you want to go next. That what the hell? It's eight fifty three. Wow. Good one. That was yeah. a good one. Interesting. So I got to I, I I rolled and I have to ask. Do you think we can work with these red wizards? Probably uh, not. Well, he, he, <laughs> Orvex Orvex says he. Uh, um, <laughs> that uh, they everyone wants to find this soulmonger because it, it's it's creating problems for everyone. No, yeah. if if you're dead, you're dead. So, um, mm -hmm. and and if you're getting weaker by the moment, um, you know you you don't have a very good chance of of anyone saving your mind. So, so everyone kind of has the same goal: the same goal. is to find this soul monger and, and eliminate it, or destroy it, or disable it. So um, he says, I, I, he goes, "I can I can negotiate. I can talk to them for you." He says, but, yeah, that'd be. If we can just destroy the soul monger before we fight each other. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Plus, don't forget Ross Nee. Ross nee. Right, Ross Nee. With the blue triangle. Uh, I don't know what's up with that guy. I don't know what he wants. He's he's like an ancient evil sort of dude, right? He was was he around for the fall of this place? He... Homo? Yeah, wait. I'll tell you. Um, this is the Wan Chi. They, uh, same deal, right? But he, he would probably just kill you. They tried to kidnap you before. Right. Uh, Is that what they were doing? All the blood around their mouth made it seem they, like they weren't. No, they were. They were. They wanted to take you and imprison you. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah. He, uh, Orvex says he, he, he thinks if we uh, we could I, I think the red wizards would work with you. Uh, and and also so they're looking for the cubes you're looking for the cubes uh, Ross Nisi is looking for the cubes okay uh, and there you go you have you have three factions looking for these things. There's only a couple left. You got five. That's pretty good so far. Right? So, um, I mean, this will this will all become clear eventually here. Pretty, pretty, pretty quick. Right. <laughs> We're getting down to the last two cubes. Okay? So, all, yeah. really, at this point, you just have to decide where you're going to go. Are you going to Shrine of Moa? Or are you gonna go see um, what's his name's dad? Right. What the heck's his name? I forget. I don't remember his name. Kermit. Kermit. <laughs> his dad at the shrine of Nang Nang, who is uh, Imbok. Yeah, yeah. Chief Yorb at the shrine of <laughs> Nang Nang. The beloved 180th son of That's Chief it. Yorb. That's the guy. So you <laughs> said. Decide. Well, I, I I believe the one at the uh, out here in the middle of the lava is closer. I yeah. I believe it is. Uh, okay. That's that would be my vote okay. to go there. Yeah, I that, vote there too. Okay, that that really makes it easier for me. If I know where you're going. <laughs> yeah. 
And um, yeah, we've, uh. we've determined that that little piece there that goes across uh, from one end to the other uh, is only what did we say, 60 feet or something? Yeah, 60 so, to 90 somewhere, somewhere in there. Something like that. So that it, it it's definitely possible um, for you to get across there either by you know by hook or by crook. But um, right. Flying, floating, rope, uh, however it's possible to manage. So I don't see. Which is yeah, stack strength buffs on when it can happen to us. There you go. And uh, I think that's where we're at. We'll do that one next week, okay? All right. All right. Cool. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good. So, that one I could not figure out. Well, I'm... Um, Certainly glad I'm in this group. <laughs> Good grief. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well. Uh, that's good. Uh, I think that's it. I don't think there was anything else there to discover. I really like the I like the the sun and the moon pool. Yeah, those were cool. Yeah. <laughs> the song, the song I listen to frequently all this. <laughs> full, moon, full moon in every pool. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, I've seen that occasionally. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. Awesome. Wow. All that right. Was really, that was really something. So, okay, Jeez. next week, Shrine of Moa. Shrine of Moa. All right. And that's not, that's not far. That's, I mean, that's going <laughs> to take you just a short track. So we'll rest and go out there, right? Okay. Let me check something here on levels. So I think we're in just good shape. Based on the math of us having five yeah. and them having three. Two, they got two. They've got two, okay. Keep us on Shagambi. They almost had Obalaka. But Moa and Nang Nang are yet, as far as we know, uh, we don't know, of course, till we actually get there. But And, and it's something I have to roll for anyway. But, um. Okay. You know. There's two remaining temples that we haven't been to yet. We know we went to Kubazan, it was empty. Shagambi, empty. Yeah. Uh, Unk, Ijin, Wango, Papazotl, and Obolaka, you got them. Yeah. So there's two left so. that we don't know the, the, if they're there or not, or if they're there, we'll go get them. If they're not there, somebody took them. Right. So if we head down to that shrine, we might or we might not get one Moa. Ah, we wait, we're waiting for that all night. Stone. Yeah. Uh, puzzle cube. Very good. All right, cool. Well, that's where we'll go next week. How, how long did you plan on that? Well, I was thinking of it earlier tonight. I was oh, my somebody God. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's see. Right, so we're, we're at seven. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yo, we're good. We're right on. We're right where we're supposed to be. Dweller says five to eight. So we're right where we're supposed to be. We got a couple things cool. left, and then we got to find um, uh, the uh, the what do you call it? the dungeon because there's two two big pieces left. And the one, the one involves Ross Nisi, and the other one is the Tomb of the Nine Gods. Otherwise known as what is it, Tomb of Horrors? Yep. <laughs> Yeehaw! So, all right, there you go. Good job. Cool. Um, Thank you, Dave. Hey, man. All right. Like Have a I great night. I like it. It's fun watching you guys run around. <laughs> What's going on? Oh my god! To it, to my... it. I'm going to make some tools. <laughs> oh. I'm going to use them. So. Yeah, and, and and that's the thing. You can, if you had tried to grab it before the torches were moved, somebody would have got petrified, and there, you didn't uh... have any way of unpetrifying them. No, we right? didn't. That's why I was no. like, I was looking, and everybody was standing away from the pedestal. <laughs> it was around it, but not close to it. Like we're not touching that thing right now. So, yeah, good no. job. I like it. <laughs> so, all right, cool. All right, guys, thanks for playing, everybody. All right. 
And uh, thanks, Dave. Right. We'll thanks for having next us. Next week. All right. Okay. Next, next week. Guys. Thanks Bye. a lot. Everybody Sounds good. Keep in touch. Uh, Dusty, I'll talk to you. All right. Soon. We'll mm -hmm. do. Have a happy Halloween if I don't talk to you, everybody. Oh, yeah. That's coming. Okay. Bye. Yeah. See ya. Have a good Bye. night, everybody. Alrighty. Good night.